Friday at noon. I know not our normal day, but today is the day of Rowan's second part of the fall season launch. So we wanted to not make you wait till Tuesday and see it today. We are so excited to finally have the whole collection here to show you. Uh, we'll start off with probably one of the ones everyone's really excited about, Arnie and Carlos. It's really hard not to get excited about Arnie and Carlos. They now have their own yarn for Rowan. It's one of their selects, so it may not be around from season to season. Maybe limited edition. We don't know if they're going to love it so much it stays in the line or if it's just going to be for this season. So you want to get it while it's hot. This is their Norwegian wool. Normally, especially as Okies, when we think Norwegian wool, we think itchy ski sweaters. This is not. This is really nice yarn. It's going to be super nice to knit with. It's a DK weight. Comes in all of their nice Norwegian-ish colors. And they have two pattern books to go with it. These books are free when you buy Norwegian wool. So you buy any Norwegian wool, both of the books will pop in with your shipment or your bag if you come into the store. And they have some really nice designs. And of course, uh, they're modeling it. And they have, you know, of course, done the photography in Norway. It's making me ready to be cold. Tells a little bit about where they filmed it at in Norway. They did the photography. Look at their old skis. I just love it. That sweater is gorgeous. I mean, their stuff is just so, so much fun. And they are so much fun. Scarf, little, there's accessories and sweaters and all sorts of fun things using their new Norwegian wool. That's the book, I get it mixed up. Is this book one or two? That's book one. Book two, there's two books, wouldn't all fit into one. Isn't that pretty? This is gorgeous. This hat is super cool. I have to make, may have to make one for Keith. You see um, Arnie in it there, and you, it has the eye hole, so his little glasses will pop out. But then you can also, they'll show him here, you can just flip it up and wear it like a hat too. So on cold days, where is he? There he is. It has a hat, or it has where you can cover up everything if it's super cold. Especially think of people like my husband, who like to go out to the farm in the cold. I, on the other hand, as you know, I prefer to stay indoors whenever possible. So that's the first new yarn that has just come in. The second one, a little bit of rug, is over here. We've really, really been waiting on this. This is Tweed Haze. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of, you know, like if you put kids silk haze and felt it tweed together and pumped it up the volume a little bit. It's super soft. It's super beautiful. Lots of new colors, fun colors for it. And uh, Lisa Richardson has designed some great patterns for it. It's even fabulous in something like a simple garter stitch scarf. So there truly is something in here everyone can make. I love the sweater. I love the colors in the sweater. If you love the colors and maybe you don't want to make a sweater, you can make this cowl. And there's a plain sweater. Love that open jacket. Flowy vest. Look how pretty that is. I think that's the same pattern as back here, but shown in different colors for more of an autumn look. Nice houndstooth. Houndstooth's hot right now. There's this, I'm telling you, just simple long garter stitch scarf. Takes four balls, very pretty. And a wrap crop jacket with pockets, little capelet and hat, a big palm on it, you gotta dig that. This is done in the round and has the ferrule yoke. I think that's really cool. The diamonds, look how nice that is. I love the color combinations in this. So that is the Tweed Haze, and those are the two new yarns. Really excited that they are here. In addition to that, we have two more pattern books to show you. Okay, Facet is back, and he is in a floral mood now with his entire flowers, and they are beautiful. I think he's done a fabulous job. I mean, well, it's Kay Facet. How do you not do a fabulous job? He's fabulous. Look at that. Love the colors. And this is all um, the felted tweed, I'm sure. Love the colors in that. that. That one may have to be something I make. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I mean, that's why he is the master. Beautiful, beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous, Jennifer? Got it. Yes. Jennifer's my filmer today. Go back, because, go back, go back. Go back. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jennifer's digging it, too. Jeannie's off today, so I've got Jennifer helping me out. Yeah, and they've, he has used felted tweed plus the new felted tweed color for this new collection. And you can see here's the felted tweed color. And then we have the full color range of felted tweed over here. All of these colors plus these. We had it like all the way over, but we had to make more room. Everybody's wondering where he's gonna put all the new yards. We had to kind of double stack the colors on the 
felted tweed, but we, we do have them all. We haven't reduced how many we have. And the last new publication is Indoors from Erica Knight. We're so glad she's back with Rowan. In fact, she'll be joining us on the 16th in a virtually live from UK. You want to be sure and not miss it. And she's just done some beautiful home, home wear. Things you can wear, things you can decorate with. Let me get to the big pictures. Just a big, you know, block blanket. That's gorgeous. A lot of easy, simple knitting. She likes things to be easy. And, and she's also into this kind of deconstructed look with the little strings. I mean, which you can leave those in or take them out. Either way. Our tunes went away. I wonder what happened to them. Oh, there they go. Lampshade. Rug. Pot. I mean, hello for your potted plants. I mean, hello. That's kind of cool. I mean, if you're spending as much time indoors as we have lately, you might as well. Why not, right? We're not things to knit for. Knit for the plants. This is a big wall hanging. They're showing the folded sweater. So a lot of fun things in here from Eric and I. So that pretty much completes the collection for Rowan for fall. Um, I know a lot of you probably, if you were big Arnie and Carlos fans and were watching last year, they did their Advent ornaments. And um, last year they used the Alpaca Soft DK, which I mean, there was not a skein left on a shelf anywhere after that because it was such a cool project. I'm sure they may be doing that again this year and they'll be using their new Norwegian wool. So we're all watching for that. If you want to do a preemptive strike and buy up red, green, blue before it's all gone, do. The good news is we bought a ton of it anticipating that all the Arnie and Carlos mania would be hitting here and it already has. It's already going out the door this morning. Um, speaking of things from Rowan, uh, don't dally, don't delay. They are having to uh, relocate the warehouse, the U.S. warehouse where they ship from, from South Carolina to uh, Jersey, and they are actually not shipping for three weeks. So we're going to have kind of a three-week dead period where if we don't have it on the shelf, you're going to take a number and wait because no one in the U.S. is going to be able to get anything until they get you know relocated to New Jersey mid-month, actually past the middle of the month. So don't wait. It may not be here, but once they get back, it should be good. But we're, we have so much yarn, don't we, Jennifer? Yes, yeah. we have a lot. We have a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot of yarn. We have stocked up. We've got yarn coming out everywhere. So I don't think there's too much danger of, of, of us running out of very many things because I have bought heavy for fall. Okay, that's all I have to report to you from, I guess, for Friday. Anything, anything else, Jennifer? No. no pretty, pretty much. That's it. I'll be back Tuesday with more. Bye, y'all.